So here we are in Las Vegas, Nevada, inside the T-Mobile Arena. This has really become the UFC's home base here in Vegas since 2016, and you competed on that inaugural night. UFC 200 was a big one. I got to stand across the octagon from one of the greatest fighters of all time, Anderson Silva. But the roof was blown off at UFC 200. So many stars and legends competed on that night. I'm glad I was able to stand amongst them tonight to get to make your mark in this great arena. That's how you block a strike. All right, good start for the Sugar Show. Sean O'Malley realizing particular success with that left hand. Yeah, he's got a great left hand. It's so long for the weight that he pops the jab and he just darts him with the left hand. And you see it on full display right now. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that shot. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy, back and forth. This is a full-on brawl, DC. It's hard to watch a fight like this, and all a fight like this, because you never know when somebody's gonna take that one shot that finishes the fight. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Throws that deep and it lands. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Well, he might be working towards an attritive knockout here tonight as he continues to pepper that body. Look at those numbers, bottom of your screen. That has been the most significant stat in this fight. The body strikes landed for this young man, working here towards the best performance of his UFC career. Well, he caught the kick there, and then counters with the takedown. So a lot of fighters, when they catch that kick, will move immediately into the takedown, and it worked out for him there. It worked out great. Caught the leg, drove right into his opponent, and put him on his back. He's got him stacked. He's dropping big ground upon him. His opponent better move, or they're going to stop this fight. <laughs> Good work with the ground and pound here by Figueroa. All right, stacked guard here now. The feet are on the hips, DC. So for the top fighter, this is not at all ideal. No, this is not ideal. Because now he has to try and stop his opponent from kicking him away. How do you do that? You attack the feet. You start grabbing the feet with the hands, lead with your hips, grab the feet with the hands, pass the feet to the side, and start to lead with your knee to try to get him to side control. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Under two minutes now to go. He's got to be careful here. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Figueroa. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys can start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we are starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reactions of the opponent. Well, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moments, and they both showed true skill on the ground. Checks the leg kick. As the fight goes on, you'll see Figueredo pick it up a little bit as he starts to feel more comfortable. Try to get the big shots off. Everything he throws with absolute power, from his punches to his kicks, just power in everything he does. 30 seconds to go now. O'Malley gets hit with that stiff jab there. Looks like Rob Font there, beautiful jab. 
Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Slips. O'Malley's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. All right, let's look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about just the efficiency when it comes to the ground and pound game? He was able to throw at the right time, secure at the right time. He wasted no action. For me, this is the most exciting type of fight. A guy that is just dominating his opponent, really, truly putting the grind on his opponent from the top position. You ready? Round two. All right, next round is underway. We will see if he can pick up where he left off, particularly when it comes to the ground and pound. That was vicious. I mean, it was vicious. It was vicious. It was shades of Habib Nurmagomedov yes. versus Michael Johnson. Habib Nurmagomedov versus Conor McGregor. Just able to get to a great posture, control the feet, and land every single strike with vicious intent. It's hard to do that without losing your opponent. This young man has mastered. He has mastered. Ground and pound fighters. Oh. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time. And it is showing in his performance. O'Malley's blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the guard. Unable to connect there. Both guys appear to land there. Oh, the sugar show. Sean O'Malley lands the left hand yet again. He's about as accurate with that thing as anybody in this division. I think that's what's most impressive about sugar Sean O'Malley is even though he's still young in his career, he has a patience and a calmness about himself in there that not many people possess. But that left hand can only land because he doesn't show you anything as he gets ready to throw it. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cup. Under three minutes to go round two. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by O'Malley. Big ground and pound. O'Malley's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is going to hurt something fierce tomorrow. Oh, beautifully placed knee. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away 
And it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Side control now. There's that knee to the body. Those knees. Figueredo's in half guard. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the match? Under two minutes here to go in round two. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Sean O'Malley. Nice shot there by the champ. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This field. is an educated crowd, J.A. Well, a nice job to catch the leg. He saw that strike coming and now works it into a takedown. So now he has the fight to the canvas. Let's see what he can do. Figueredo's got him stacked up here. Wow. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Well, oftentimes when you see damage like this, things are critical. We don't always see a referee calling a doctor for body strikes, but maybe this would be a case to call him. This is one of those situations where something abnormal is going to feel pretty good. We don't see it very often, but this is one of those times where doctor needs to come in and check this guy out. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Final seconds here. Working out of the half guard here. Oh, and the horn sounds on round two. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, let us now look back at some of the highlights from that round, and there just aren't that many guys on this roster that can keep up this offensive wrestling pace over 15 or 25 minutes. But he's one of those guys. He is one of those guys that's able to continuously take you down even if you get up over and over. He has this ability to maintain that pace and pressure that he can wear his opponents down. That's why you see him get so many finishes as the fight progresses. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Straight right is there. Push kick there to the body. That kick blocked by O'Malley. Straight punch, that is useful. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. That's right, so catches the kick and promptly counters with the takedown and puts him on his back. Nicely done there. He knew exactly what he was doing. He knew if he had an opportunity to secure a leg off of a kick, he would go right into his takedown, and it worked perfection. Fighter lands a nasty kick. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Oh, nice jab up top by Figueredo. That one was clean. Great punch. Trying the flying knee there. Great body kick there. O'Malley's oh, oh, another huge ground strike landed by a mayor. How much more can one man take? Knee to the body. Busy 
in the clinch, lands that punch. And under three minutes now to go in the round. than he did in previous rounds. O'Malley's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Well, that strike landed, not gonna help that cut at all. And I think for a lot of us non-fighters, it becomes hard to watch that area just continue to get targeted and blood over and over again. And it's what you're supposed to do yeah. as a fighter. You can't have heart as a fighter. You gotta look at that thing. You gotta look at that work that you've done. You gotta take that canvas and you gotta paint it, man. You gotta get at him over and over again and continue to attack that same area. Feel sorry for the guy after the fight. Yeah. But right now, he's gotta pay the price. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. O'Malley's cut on his nose does not look good. Actually, it looks really bad. You gotta think the ringside position is gonna get called in here. Oh, Back to the feet now. by that head kick. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Nice crack there. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume tonight. Jab, right hand, body shot, I mean kick. What a massive... Oh! He's hurt. Big right hand there. Authority the body. Oh, no. And there it is! Oh my god! No judges needed this time around! Oh my goodness. Just a relentless effort out of this fighter here tonight. The ref had no choice but to step in, and that is how you leave the judges out of it. All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 28 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO. And